Hey guys, hey guys, it's Chris back with another watch review and today I am doing a review of my Vacheron Constantine uh, Traditionale World Time. Uh, basically, this is a watch I got a few months ago. Uh, it is uh, in rose gold on a brown uh, alligator strap and uh, I put it back in the box for this so uh, it's not really an unboxing, more of a reboxing and then unboxing. However, uh, I figured it would be cool to take a look at this uh, from the perspective of someone who would be purchasing this as new and uh, as I did. So, outer box, typical Richemont. If you purchased from them before, this is the outer box. Um, and it has uh, some of the labeling here. See there, it says Vacheron. Uh, just made and there's the uh, right there is the number uh, the serial number of the watch zero I mean, excuse me eight six zero six zero slash zero zero R eight nine eight five I believe that last part is for the nomination of, of uh, rose gold so just taking out this outer box side and now we have the other white box and again just a couple of uh, it says box made in Thailand which is I think normal okay and it's just an outer white box take this off now Put that aside and here we are Vacheron Pretty nice box. Um, pretty thick cardboard. Very nice. And then it's surrounded by this towel here. There you go. You get a peek of the watch. So we'll set this aside. And uh, it just comes out of the box like this. And this is a very heavy, really well made wood box. And the rest of it is just cardboard. Outer outer box, I guess. Um, this is a plexiglass window. Still has a plastic uh, protection on it. I guess that scratches up pretty quickly. And uh, I'll do a quick wristwatch check before we move on. I'm wearing the uh, Seiko Baby Marine Rat Master, the SBDC 061. Fantastic watch. Check out my review. Yeah, so comes on this little what feels like leatherette or PU leather. It definitely um, comes off very easily, which is kind of sad because this will not last, I don't think, if you keep on putting your watch back in and out of this case. So let's put that aside and I'll put the watch aside for a second. We'll keep moving in. So there is nothing left in the box. So I'll just lay this down. This locks like that. Really beautiful box, actually. Different from most boxes. Uh, and this is like a little carrying case it comes with, but it's made of that same material. Um, so let's see what it comes with here. It does not look like I got any extra straps with this. It comes with this little Vacheron USB port gives you a reference on here of some sort for the passport that it comes with and the Vacherons that I have have all come with this passport so I guess you could put the watch in there for travel and like I said they've all come with this passport which is like pretty much the nicest uh, watch um, 
booklet that I've ever received. I wouldn't even go through a booklet normally, but take a look at that. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I, I also have a Kita Lee uh, with the sapphire crystal bezel. Um, just a really, really cool watch. Uh, actually, probably my favorite watch that I have. Um, and that came with a similar book. Um, and there's a lot of other little things that you could uncover with that watch. There's, there's uh, by using the, um, by using the crystal, they etched in some sayings on it. And there's uh, some, some things that are only visible with a loop. Some things are only visible with a, uh, with a black light. Anyway, uh, that's another watch that I'll definitely review. Uh, other than that, it looks like it came with just this little Vacheron uh, cloth and then a little medallion here that is for the, I believe, seal of, yes, Pont de, de, de Genève. That means the, uh, it's the seal of Genève. Uh, the Geneva seal is a standard uh, that is uh, bestowed upon certain watches that uh, finish their watches to for watch. I think it applies to the to the movement and case now uh, to a certain level, and that is stamped on the movement of the watch. And uh, just some quick details about this watch, and I'm going to put it on my wrist in a second. So I said it has sealed Geneva. Um, the eighty-six. Uh, it's it's the. What year is it there? Um, the serial number is uh, eight six zero six zero. It's a uh, forty-two millimeters uh, across, so wide. Um, it is eleven point six millimeters thick. Uh, it is eighteen carat pink gold, rose gold, that applies to the case, the crown, the dial, uh, the buckle, and the rotor is actually 22 karat gold engraved, um, and the movement is the 2460 WT, WT obviously stands for whirl time, this shares the movement, uh, it's movement with the Vacheron overseas whirl time, what makes these world times special and why I think they're the best world time watch in the world, hands down. Um, this is a, obviously a dress watch. The uh, Overseas is a uh, sport watch, which is pretty cool. I don't believe you can get that in rose gold, but maybe you can now. Um, you get 37 different time zones, so 37 independent time zones. Some of them are 15 minute variations. So this covers every time zone where you have seen every other world time watch that you've ever seen does not do that. So if you buy a Patek Philippe or um, you know, uh, uh, any other world time watch you could think of, it's covering 24 time zones. This covers every time zone. And it does that with uh, basically all controls coming through the crown. So you see here, there's a, a little arrow and that you should have set to your home time. So I'm in New York uh, and I have that set to my home time. So that allows me to tell time throughout the world in all time zones. And also there's a day night indicator, as you can see. So the gray is day and the dark is night, but also on top of that little etched rose gold map in the center there is a very thin sapphire um, layer that when you're changing the time zone and you are changing the time excuse me you can see it stays night and I'll change this move this around and you can see that dark area move with the night zone so that sapphire actually moves and darkens the map where it is actually night so i just made it night in north america and now it is now it is 
night on that map. Really cool. Um, very, very, very complicated to do, I would imagine. And you can see there's different names on the map that are in red. Those are for the extra, uh, more difficult time zones beyond the 24 that are that are usually found on watches. Um, yeah, so it, it's just a fantastic looking watch. Um, the the strap and buckle, obviously solid, this solid rose gold, just, just an incredible looking watch, uh, but really functional um, and probably a uh, very underrated watch, I would say. Um, and there's a good look at the movement with that 18 karat rose gold engraved rotor. Fantastic watch. Really beautiful. Yeah, so that is uh, my review. I'll show it on my wrist real quick. I absolutely love this watch. I love wearing it. It feels great. Um, and as I said, you know, a lot of people look this, look past this watch for other watches like the Patek Philippe World Time, um, which I guess makes sense. I mean, if you're not into the look of this watch, because this is the traditional movement, uh, traditional uh, case, and it's it's kind of modern and less. Um, a little angular at the at the lugs uh, it, it, I mean it wears on my wrist really well as you can see uh, look I think it looks great on my wrist and I love that that gold tone in the middle which is a little bit darker just so good looking um, yeah so the tag on here shows you so the original price was 53,000 so obviously I just put that back on Anyway, uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, I have plenty more watches that I can I could uh, do some reviews on. Please let me know. I really enjoy doing this, and I really would like your feedback. Please hit that bell icon, put a comment down below, tell me what I could do better. I definitely will uh, take it to heart. So, um, and I will try and improve. Please take a look uh, at my other videos and uh, do the same if you can like and subscribe uh, and obviously add comments. Again, this is Chris with another watch review uh, and I appreciate your time. Thank you.